strike on Crimea with ATACMS was directed by U.S. RQ-4B Global Hawk drone. Russia. The attack by the Ukrainian armed forces at night with ATACMS missiles on the territory of the Crimean Peninsula was coordinated by an American unmanned aerial vehicle. Russian military sources report this, according to Zvezda Media Outlet. As follows from data from a service for tracking flights of civil and military aircraft, a reconnaissance unmanned aerial vehicle of the U.S. Air Force RQ-4B Global Hawk appeared over the Black Sea. Since the beginning of the armed conflict in Ukraine, the military aviation NATO countries have significantly increased the frequency of flights over the Black Sea. First of all, we are talking about reconnaissance aircraft and reconnaissance unmanned aerial vehicles. As a rule, soon after the appearance of NATO aircraft in the air over the Black Sea, attacks on Russian targets in Crimea follow. Russian source says that, in fact, such actions by the United States and a number of other states indicate their direct involvement in the Ukrainian conflict. After all, NATO reconnaissance aircraft appear over the Black Sea not just to monitor Russian targets, but with the purpose of collecting and transmitting data obtained during reconnaissance to the Ukrainian general staff. Then the Ukrainian armed forces begin to strike the peninsula either with missiles or with the help of strike drones, both air and sea. As a result of the missile attack on Crimea on May the 15th, two Russian MiG-31 aircraft, an S-400 anti-aircraft system and a warehouse with fuel were destroyed. There are also losses among the occupants. This is reported by Astra. As noted by the media, the Belbek military airfield near Sevastopol was attacked on the night of May the 15th. As a result of the missile strike, two Russian MiG-31 fighter interceptors were destroyed. A fuel and lubricants depot was also burnt down. Eleven Russian occupiers were injured. Also that night, according to the newspaper, a Russian S-400 Triumph SAM system was attacked near the village of Vishnev. After the attack, the complex caught fire, two occupants were killed and two others were injured. At least two people were killed and hundreds injured during riots in the Pacific territory of New Caledonia. The riots that started on Monday are in response to French Parliament's decision to give French residents their more voting rights. Rioters have been reportedly torching cars, setting buildings alight and attacking police stations. There have also been reports of several exchanges of fire between rioters and civil defense groups in capital Noumea. The riots forced French President Emmanuel Macron to cancel a trip to chair an emergency defense and national security meeting on Wednesday, the president's office said. This is the worst unrest the island has seen since the 1980s. Located between Australia and Fiji, New Caledonia has been a French territory since the 19th century. The violence started after lawmakers in Paris voted 351 to 153 to grant French citizens who have lived in New Caledonia for at least 10 years the right to vote in provincial elections. They argued this was democratically fair. French authorities imposed a nighttime curfew and ban on public gatherings on Tuesday in response to the ongoing riots. However, France's High Commission of the Republic in New Caledonia on Wednesday said that serious disturbances were continuing and there had been an attempted prison breakout. The French interior minister said that hundreds of people, including police officers, were injured in the unrest. 